all right today we are going to you know take a look at how we can make our beat sound loud and clear so uh in this video i'm going to go over how you can make your beat loud but then before you make your beat loud you must you know mix your beats to make sure it is uh you know good enough to become loud and clear but in this video i'm not going to go over mixing but we are going to rush through i'm going to show you what and what i've done on the you know balancing of the beats before the mastering so uh let's quickly listen to the beats and hear how it sounds like then we are going to uh, go over the mastering of the beats <laughs> If you are on good speaker or headphones, you can tell the beat is very clean. If not, you know, the best, very clean and good enough for you to, you know, play to your uh, friend or send over to artists to vibe or record. And then, you know, before sometimes artists get a beat, they like to feel it. So if you are able to, you know, make your beat sound loud and clear like this before you send to artists, of course, it will sound more beautiful and most artists will likely to, you know, uh, work on your beats. So uh, let's go over to what I've done to make it sound this clean. First of all, I've uh, mixed the beats uh, a little. I can't go over mixing of the beat because every beat have its own unique instrument and character, and you can't actually copy what I have done yet to uh, all of your projects. But although there are some general ideas that you can also copy, but if you notice, I've balanced. Uh, the beat a little bit here and one of the most uh, thing I would advise is that when you are mixing your beats don't make the instruments too low if you are just mixing a beat but if you are mixing along with vocals yes you must balance your instrument and everything alongside the vocal so that everything will shine and your vocal will cut through but if you are mixing a beat for YouTube upload or just for beats that you want to you know used to send to people to listen to and enjoy uh, you have to you know make sure everything is a little bit you know up front so that people can enjoy the beat so if you notice everything is clear you can hear everything <laughs> there is enough space for vocal to also sit inside everything is free that you know so after i balance the beats do some eq on different instruments some you know effecting and so on yeah this is the mastering i did here so let me turn off the mastering and let's just listen to the beats without anything on the master so let's see <laughs> If you notice uh without the mastering the beat is eating around minus six db which is like most of the good stop uh spots for you to record vocals on a beat most engineers recommend your beat eating around minus six or maybe you know three db also but i like my beats to be around minus six if i am recording vocals on top because by the time i add vocals and mix vocal on it everything will rise up to a certain level that i'll have enough headroom for mastering the project but for here it's eating here it's eating around uh, 
uh, minus 60 b so it's still okay but it will be too low if i send to people to listen to for a project so what i did here the first thing is i added a fruity soft clipper of course soft clipper everybody knows it's a uh, inbuilt uh, plug it's a stock plugin and what it does is uh just a simple uh trick it has just to not be a post and press so and i think i don't know the detail about the posts or press but i think what it does is just like a it's doing something similar to a limiter or something where it kind of bring up the uh volume to a certain uh threshold and let's just play around let's see so, so if i increase the post it become louder but i don't want too much loudness here so i keep the post gain around uh, around let's say 80 or so i think yeah around 80 then the threshold i keep it around just i play around you can keep it anywhere but on this beat i just keep it around this kind of level and it sounds a little bit clean <laughs> So you can play around with it and then it's sometimes sometimes only this can make your music loud if uh it's not too low it can make your beat loud enough but that's what i did there then i added an image uh, i don't do too much when i master my be image uh, stereo measure and then ozone uh, ozone image uh, and i added just a modern width I did not do anything crazy because the beats sound nice already so I keep it simple then the next thing I did there was to add a fruity limiter and then I pick a preset on that loud open and wide then I push the gain up to like uh, 7.5 dB or so and then it just sounded this way <laughs> observe everything is sounding clean the reason is because i've mixed the beat i have balanced everything i have make sure all my instruments my drums everything are sounding you know balanced before i do this so that it will be loud if you did not do that and you just put this on it will be you know squashed and it won't sound nice and you'll be wondering what happened it is because you did not do it right and in order to make this more simpler there is a stock plugin you can also use to do what the uh, fab filter pro l2 is doing which is the fruity uh, limiter so let me just put it and do the same thing so that you can see that fruity limiter can do the same thing so let's add fruity limiter yeah it's the same thing as the uh, pro l2 here so we have added fruity limiter so when you are using fruity limiter what you are going to do is just yeah you are going to come to um we are going to come to this saturation and sometimes you are going to pick a certain threshold that you want it to be sometimes i like to keep it like just maybe minus one db or so sometimes then now see what to happen you are going to push the gain. to do the same thing the pro l2 is doing uh, you just set your uh threshold i think you can also mess with the ceiling but i don't do too much about the ceiling and uh, so but i mostly use like this saturation to around sometimes minus one db or so then 
I don't touch the ceiling most of the time. Then I'll just add my gain up to any desired amount. From here, I'm adding up to like you get 9 dB or so. I don't know, it might be over compared to the uh, Fab Filter Pro, but sometimes I use this if I don't want to do anything crazy. <laughs> tell this is doing exactly the same thing the fab filter pro l2 is doing so if you don't have fab filter pro l2 this is a stock plugin that you can use to do the same thing so you can just add fritter limiter turn on the saturation around minus one db or any range that you want but not too much then you pull up the gain until it sound loud enough and you can read on the meter <laughs> read on the meter here and know what is going on that's pretty much everything it's not really complex to make your beat sound uh, you know loud and clear it's not complex so if you want more of uh, stuff like this please do like subscribe and comment what you think about this video and if you want to you know know more about uh, more up i mix my beats and so on I can also do some videos to show how I balance my beats and how I mix my beats. But mind you, I don't do too much stuff when I'm mixing my beats. But trust me, I always come up with good sounds because I think it's not too complex as we think it is done. If you observe here, it's just little, little things I have done on the instrument and stuff, uh, drums and stuff, and the sounds this way. So yeah peace that's it for today's video uh, see you on my next video